Hello, this is Arbil. In this video tutorial, I will give you the proof of product and chain rule of differentiation. We will begin this video tutorial from the proof of product rule of differentiation. What is the product rule of differentiation? If we have two functions f and g and these two functions both are differentiable at some point a, then the product of f and g that is f of x times g of x is also differentiable at a. And you can compute the derivative of the product by this formula which says the derivative of f at a times g uh, evaluated at a plus the value of the function f at a times the value of the derivative of g at a. Now let's me give you the proof of this result. To prove this theorem, I first will start writing down this quotient f of x times g of x minus f of a g of a and whole thing is divided by x minus a. And if I want to prove that the function f times g is differentiable at, I need to prove that uh, the limit of this quotient as x approaches to a exist. Before I calculate the limit, I'm going to do some manipulation in that quotient. So I will rewrite this quotient as by subtracting a term f of x times g of a and then also adding the same term g at a and then we have f of a times g of a. And the whole thing is a divide by x minus a. Now I will do some algebra and uh, rewrite this thing again. So this is going to be f of x if I pull out the values of f of x. And this is going to be written as gx minus g of a. And I divide x minus a. And then I will also separate and from the second term I will pull out g of a and write the rest of the term as f of x minus f of a and I will write underneath x minus a. Now I will take the limit as x approaches to a on both sides. So this implies this gives me limit as x approaches to a. Now let's see on the right hand side if we can move the limit inside or another word we can use the algebraic limit theorem. So in order to use the algebraic limit theorem we need to assure that the each limit inside of the uh, parentheses exists. So as you can see the function f of x is a differentiable at a so this implies the function is also continuous at a. So if I take the limit as x approaches to a of this function, it will exist. And uh, this limit, which is the quotient of uh, g of x minus g of a, whole thing is divided by x minus a, this limit exists uh, because the function g is a differentiable at a and this is the definition of the differentiability. Similarly, the function g is continuous at a, so this limit will exist and this will limit will exist because the function f is differentiable at a. So now by using the algebraic length theorem we can write this as uh, limit as x approaches to a f of x times limit as x approaches to a of this quotient g of x minus g of a whole thing is divided by x minus a plus limit as x approaches to a g of x time limit x approaches to a of this quotient f of x minus f of a whole thing is divided by x minus a. Since each limit exists so I can write it as this limit is the value of this limit is f of a the value of the second limit is g prime at a and the value of this limit, the next limit is g at a and the value of the last limit is g prime at a. 
so this limit exists and it is this real number so we can say the function f of x time g of x is differentiable at a and it is a derivative is in fact this limit so this complete the proof of uh, this theorem next we will prove the chain rule of differentiation before i give you the proof let's uh, read the statement the statement of the chain rule says that if f and g they are both a differentiable function and the composition f of g is defined the function g is differentiable at a and the function f is differentiable at g of a then the composition f of g is also differentiable at a and it is a derivative is given by this formula which is the derivative of f of g at a is equal to the derivative of f uh, evaluated at g of a times the derivative of g at a now let's prove this theorem we will begin the proof by defining this new function so we define the function d of x as f of x minus f evaluated at g at a whole thing is a divide by x minus g at a and this is true when g is not x is not equal to g of a and this is equal to f prime evaluated at g of a and x is exactly is equal to g of a and notice this function is well defined because the function f is a differentiable at g of a and also observe if i calculate this limit limit x approaches to g of a of the function dx this limit will be f prime g at a which is in fact is equal to the value of the function d evaluated at g of a and this shows this function d of x is continuous is continuous uh, at x is equal to g of a so this is one observation uh, which we have for this function now next notice this function d of x uh, satisfy this functional relation which is a f of x minus f evaluate g at a is equal to d of x and x minus g of a this a functional relation is true for all values of x belongs to a even if i choose x is equal to g of a also notice um, the x belongs to a and the set g b is a subset of a uh, this implies i can write x is equal to g of t where t is an arbitrary element of b so next i will replace x by g of t in my previous equation that is in this equation will implies uh, f evaluated at g of t minus f g of a this is equal to d g of t time uh, g of t minus g of a and in the next step i will divide the both side by t minus a t minus a and i can only divide if t is not equal to next i will take the limit on both side as t approaches to a therefore limit t approaches to a of this quotient f g of t minus f g of a whole thing is divided by t minus a and this is equal to the limit as t approaches to a of d time g of 
devaluated at g of p and this quotient g of p minus g of a whole thing is divided by p minus k and next notice this product the limit of this product as t approaches to a is defined because the function d is continuous therefore the limit as t approaches to a is defined and it exists and also since the function g is a differentiable at a therefore the limit as t approaches to a of this quotient is also defined so i can use the algebraic limit theorem to write it as limit t approaches to a of d uh, g of t times limit t approaches to a of g of t minus g of a whole thing is divided by t minus a and since the function d is continuous so it is a limit is g evaluated at d evaluated at g of a and this limit is g prime of a because this function is differentiable at a and in fact the value of the uh, function d at g of a is f prime g of a and this is a g prime at a now i will conclude the whole discussion uh, what we have the limit as t approaches to uh, a of this quotient f g at t minus f g of a whole thing is it divided by t minus a uh, is equal to f prime g of a uh, g prime of a so therefore this limit exists uh, since this limit exists this implies the composition f of g uh, is differentiable is differentiable at g of a and it is a derivative is given by this limit so this conclude the proof of chain rule next i have one quiz problem for you to practice please pause the video for one and two minute and work on this problem this is also the end of this video Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.